Now, <laughs> let me show you what actually happens when you pay extra. And this is not how the pill method works, but I'm just showing you how the bank makes its money and what we can do to disrupt their ability to charge us all of this interest. Then I'll tell you what we can do with that 25,000, but you got to understand this part first, okay? Yeah. Okay, so let's say you're making this first payment in January, all right? And I gave you this schedule and you can see I made my payment in January. Everybody's happy. I said, now take a look at your schedule and tell me what is the principal payment for February when February rolls around? What's the principal payment for next month? 481. 481. So here's my question. If you make this payment in January, do you have to wait till February to give the bank that $481.69? No. If you had it, could you give it to the bank in January? Yes. If you did, you realize no interest comes out of that money. All of that money goes to principal. Do you have to request for the principal? Yeah, you, you do. Know? But there's different ways that the different banks do it. But let's say for this sake, we've already done all of that. You've got all the permissions. Everything is in place. Okay? Yeah. So if we take that $481.69, we apply that to principal in January. Aren't we paid down to line two? In January? Yes. Yes. That's so our next mortgage payment for February is now on what line of this schedule? Since we're already on line two. Yeah, for the third. Exactly. This is the new February payment. 482.90 and 697.59. That's the new February payment. We just got rid of one line on the amortization schedule, $481.69. Number two line is gone. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> okay. Would you like to feel even better? Of course. <laughs> All right. Tell me what happened to the $698.80 on line two, the interest part. What interest. happened to that? You're still paying that interest, right? Nope. It's gone? It's gone. Totally hmm. gone. Eliminated. It's canceled. It's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But your payment, I guess, when you pay on that principal, is you saying to cancel out the interest? Yes. So we're going to back up. Your grocery store wants you to know how much money you save when you buy something on sale. But your bank doesn't want you to know how much you save when you give them extra money. Wow. So back to that 10 grand you said I'll be holding and saving. If I make that payment after that first mortgage payment, Listen, I was getting all geared up to drop a big old a bomb, a gym, and I was going to look all smart, and you took all of it. Tammy <laughs> to hear it. Do it anyway. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm... Don't be sorry, man. Don't be sorry, because I can tell how your brain is working. So if we get this loan, you still have your 25 grand in the bank, right? Yeah. So let me ask you something. Just take a look at line 12 here, Okay. This is $5,845.82 in principal payments. That's all the principal payments added up, okay, for one year. Here's my question. Do you have to give the bank this $5,800 in 12 monthly installments? No. If you had it, could you give it to them all at one time? Yes. And be paid down to line 12 in one month? Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> you, are you serious? <laughs> Yes, you said that will cover the whole year. Yes. Yeah. Now you have a mortgage payment every month, but your mortgage payment, if you did this in January, your mortgage payment for February would be on what line of this schedule then? It'll be on the third, correct? Nope. And say so if we pay if it I down make to, a payment for February. Yeah, so if we take this and we pay it all at one time, the 58, 45, 82, and pay down to line 12 in one month, we're already Just down the to line year. 12. And so our next mortgage payment will be on what line of the schedule that you're looking at? The 13th. Exactly. This is February's okay. new payment. <laughs> wow. Exactly. When you do this, what happened to all this interest? I guess you don't pay. It. You don't pay. It. You pay all the way down to here, not for $8,320.06. You pay down to right there for only $700. Boom. Wow. Okay. Did you know your mortgage worked like that? I swear I did. <laughs> did your accountant share this with you? No. Did your real estate agent share this with you? Not at all. How about the banker that gave you the loan? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 
all of that. You get that right here in the pill method room. Okay. Valuable information. Now we're ready for the big question. If you get this loan, the $280,000 loan, you still have your 25 grand in the bank, don't you? Yes. Could you make your first payment and then give them the 25 grand? Yes. And what would happen? So we're going to see this cumulative principle. We're going to go down and stop at $25,000. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, that's 5,000. That's 11,000. <laughs> that's 18,000. $25,000. We just knocked off when it catches up. How many years did we just knock off with that 25 grand? We just knocked off four years off yeah. this mortgage. But if you give the bank that $25,000 before you close on the loan, you start out with 360 payment loan for the same $255,000. Wow. That's so, great information. That's great. So was this worth the price of admission today? Yes, big time. Oh, my God. I'm going to contact my bank afterwards. I got to double check with this one. Listen, here's what I need you to do, okay? The person that sold you this loan is a loan officer. Guess what they don't need to know to sell loans? They don't need to know how this works. Oh. They're salesmen. They're salespeople. They're not bankers. They're salespeople. So if you ask them, is this possible? They'll probably say, oh, no, because guess what? They're putting large down payments on their loans as well, because that's what they're taught to do. Mm. Now, I've got videos out there since 2009, 2010, and this information has been out there for a very long time. But the reason why it's not widespread, the reason why you don't see other people copying what I'm doing is because I own the copyright. Wow. And so if they have not been to my class, they won't know this. You know how many people have learned this information, got excited about it, went back to their bank, and the bank said, oh, that's impossible. You can't do that. You can't knock off all that interest. And then that person comes back to me and says, my bank said I can't do that. And I said, okay, let's look at it this way. Let's say you got your $280,000 loan, right? You made your first payment, and then you found a lottery ticket on the ground and it was a winner. Okay. Now you take that money and you pay off this mortgage. You pay off the whole $280,000. What happens to all this interest that they wanted to charge you? What happens to all of it? Gone. Nothing. <laughs> if all of it can be gone, how come some of it can't be gone? Mm. So don't let people tell you who aren't skilled in how an amortization schedule actually works, but are skilled in how to sell a mortgage, tell you that this can't work because there's got to be a benefit to paying off early. You just didn't know it was that much because nobody's teaching it anywhere. What do you say, sir? Oh, uh, man, I appreciate it. I'm going to definitely get in contact. This is real good information. I swear I didn't know anything. <laughs> Well, listen, here's what you can also do. You can go to ice10k.com to get a savings and earnings report. How would you like to know the month, day, and year you can be debt-free, not just on your mortgage, but all of your debt? That's your mortgage. If you got student loans, credit cards, car loans, everything can be done in about seven to nine years instead of 30 years to never. That's excellent. Fill out that information. Somebody from my staff will give you a call and then set up a consultation for you. And then you will know the month and year you'll be debt free, how much interest you're going to save. And then we're going to show you how to take that interest savings and turn it into generational wealth for your family. Instead of giving it to the bank to invest, how about you invest all that interest we're going to save you? But Don has some valuable information that can contribute to the quality of a person's life. And it only costs you a few dollars. He says, it's his book. Why not get that? I'm going to go through the pill method myself with some of my investment properties. So I'm going to link up with uh, uh, Don and then I'm going to sit down with him, show him my investment portfolio and see how I can eliminate interest.